Well, Julie, the numbers are simply a big unknown tonight, and that's why the Minnesota Department of Health says again, just stay home if you can right now, and especially stay home if you have any kind of mild symptoms. Stay home for seven days, in fact. The governor says that there is more evidence of community spread in Minnesota, but unfortunately, there's also a growing backlog in testing. 1,700 cases on ice, samples on ice tonight, because they simply don't have the capacity to test them. There are far more than 77 cases out there. If I tested those 1700s at the rate that we're going right now, we would expect to find about another 100 or so is about at that rate. Governor Wall says that backlog of coronavirus testing at MDH is the result of a sudden loss of testing supplies that resulted from a sudden federal shift to prioritize U.S. cities with the highest concentration of cases. We're supposed to have high testing capacity in 14 of the most infected areas, but what it did was it dried us up to basically zero. I watch a news conference that tell us we have testing capacity. I am telling you, we don't have testing capacity. We've got people that were in a situation where someone, a medical professional, thought it was important enough to swab them and no capacity to test them. So yes, I'm concerned. The governor says they have restocked some protective equipment at MDH by tapping National Guard stockpiles at Camp Ripley. And with President Trump invoking the Defense Protection Act today, the Guard could become more involved. This would be a federal payment to Minnesota to be able to allow us to use the National Guard. And we are planning for them in all situations. They are preparing to look how they could assist. In the meantime, the governor says he'll keep signing executive orders, including restricting non essential visitors at Minnesota veterans homes, eliminating weight restrictions on trucks and hourly limits on truck drivers to support the supply chain and offering paid leave and immediate health benefits for new state employees who can't work because of the virus. With DMV offices closing, the governor says he's also ensuring drivers don't get tickets for expired licenses and tabs and businesses will also get a break on sales tax. Minnesota will push back the monthly due date to April 20th. It is an eerie and uh and heartbreaking scene to see shuttered businesses and shuttered schools. But the encouraging part of that means is the better we do that, the sooner we get through this and the more lives that we save. Now, work at the Capitol also got more complicated today as a House of Representatives staffer here was among those who tested positive. The governor said that they are notifying those contacts. They also closed the building for cleaning, but he said he does plan to keep the Capitol open, at least for now, because he said democracy simply needs to function right now.